Hello everyone, my name is John Rangit and Pianchetta and today we're going to be talking about the different kinds of equipment used in volleyball. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Introduction Volleyball is a team sport that doesn't necessarily need to be played with different kinds of uh, equipment in order to be played. Uh, it is a recreational sport that can be played even with only a ball. For this presentation though, I will be showing all of the needed equipment for playing volleyball properly. So let's get right into it. First of all, we have the volleyball ball. Volleyballs differ greatly depending on whether they will be used indoors or outdoors. While indoor volleyballs are molded together, outdoor volleyballs are stitched. Typically, indoor volleyballs are made from leather, whereas outdoor balls, outdoor balls will usually be made from a composite material that is resistant to water. A regulation volleyball should be 65 to 67 centimeters in circumference and weigh about 260 to 280 grams or about 9 to 10 ounces. The ball inside, the ball's inside pressure should be 0 0.30 to 0 0.325 uh, kilograms per centimeter squared or 4.26 uh, to 4.61 psi. Next up, we have the volleyball net and poles. An official volleyball net will measure about 32 feet long and by 39 inches tall. For men's volleyball, it will be suspended 8 feet off the ground, while for women, it will be 7 feet and 4 inches. The net is held up by poles. Typically, volleyball net poles will measure between 10.5 feet and 16 feet in height made from steel or aluminum aluminum they are designed to withstand any strains and tension throughout the course of the match and here we have a picture of a volleyball net being held by poles next up we have the volleyball court a volleyball court is 60 feet by 30 feet and is divided by a net that is placed over the center line at the back of each side of, this, of the court is the service line. In front of this, 10 feet from the net on either side is the attacker line or the attack line. The court can be outdoors or indoors and playing surfaces include wood, rubber, tiles, grass, or sand. So here's a photo of a official uh, stadium or an official court where a a volleyball court will be placed in a stadium of some sort. And here's a more detailed uh, photo of what of the measurements, what are the measurements of the volleyball court, like the dimensions of being at 60 feet by 30 feet, uh, 60 feet long by 30 feet wide. Then we can see from 10 feet away from the serving line, we have the attack line from both sides. As you can see here, we also have antenna. An antenna is used to help the ball observers whether the ball went in or out or whether the the players are violating any rules and uh plays of the game. And as you can see here, uh the net height we have for men at least eight feet tall from the ground, or for women, uh women we have seven four for the women. Okay, next slide. Proper volleyball clothes. So of course we need to learn the prop the proper attire needed to be used while playing volleyball. So first of all, we have volleyball shorts. Volleyball shorts need to be su supremely comfortable and allow you to move freely without and without restriction. Spandex is a super stretchable material that is perfect for your shorts. And you may also wish to look for shorts that have moisture wicking material to keep you dry throughout the game. Next up, we have that volleyball t-shirt. Depending on whether you are playing indoor or outdoor, and what the weather is like when you play, you can opt for the classic sleeveless athletic t-shirt or choose a long sleeve sports shirt. Whether sleeved or sleeveless, volleyball t-shirts usually have a number on, the, on both the front and the back and may carry your team's name and logo too. 
Next up is the volleyball shoes. Volleyball shoes have a rubber sole and are designed for the lateral movement that the sport requires. The middle of the sole is usually made of foam while the back is more likely to be made from mesh or nylon. For those playing recreationally, a normal tennis trainer may well be sufficient, but if you are playing more seriously, you will certainly benefit from wearing specially designed volleyball shoes for men and women. These shoes are used for uh, proper jumping uh, posture, for uh, better comfortability for you when you're jumping or running around trying to catch the ball, uh, touch the ball from the ground. And next up, we have the volleyball braces, sleeves, and pads. Knee pads are the most important protection for volleyball players. With many low balls being hit, you will need to kneel to reach them. So here we have an example of when the ball is about to hit the ground and you have to go dive for it. Uh, pads are really good for these kinds of situations. Because if, if you don't have pads, you're going to have bruises, floor burns, and of the such. While elbow pads aren't as important as a consideration as knee pads, many players will still use them for extra padding when making a dive to keep a volleyball in play. Arm sleeves are also sometimes worn for the same reason. The stress and strain, the strain, the stress and strain that volleyball can place on your body can particularly con can particularly concentrated at the ankles. Ankle injuries are among the most common of all injuries that occur when playing volleyball, which is why many players decide to wear ankle braces for additional support. Here we have uh, photos of uh, volleyball equipment such as the shoes, uh, the t-shirt, uh, knee pads, and shorts. And the shorts are of spandex material. As you can see, it's very breathable and makes your body move freely and more flexible. Here's more photos of uh, examples of uh, attire, proper attire for volleyball. Here we have a girl uh, wearing a jersey or a t-shirt. As you can see that uh, according to the de description, it will carry the name and the number of the team, the logo. And as you can see here, we have the sponsors. The And next up, we have the sleeves. Uh, we can see that the sleeves is for either when you're going to uh, dive for the ball or prevent for the floor burns, bruises to happen. We have these sleeves for the same reasons as for padding or braces. And also, we have the, the shorts. Uh, used for proper comfortability and flexibility. So when you move around, you don't have anything going in your way when you're trying to move. Next up, we have the, uh, the next photo. We have the t-shirt and shorts, the sleeve and pads. As you can see here, we have knee pads this time, used for diving purposes, and we have shoes as well. Thank you for listening for my presentation. Uh, thank you once again for having the time to check around what I have installed for you and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much